Hello guys! And this video is for all of those who are wondering how can you change some of the settings that are not uh, in here. Like, say I want to search for triple widgets in a range of only 32 chunks. How do I do that? I can't set it here. But you told me I can do that. And yes, you can do that. Um, for that, you first of all need to open your console. You can do that in Windows by pressing Shift and, and right click and then there is an option here um, to open your command window or whatever that is called in English. <laughs> don't really know. Um, but yeah, there is an option for that. Like, that's what it's called in German. Um, it's not there if I don't press Shift. Um, so yeah, then I type in Java minus jar and then I enter the jar name, seedfinder.jar. That's what my jar is called. If yours is called different, like v1.1 underscore 6, for example, which is the latest version at the moment, uh, then you have to call it like that. But mine is called that. And that basically starts uh, the program. Um, by the way, you can also um, add arguments like how much RAM it, it's allowed to use. So, for example, if you want to use the docseed uh, plugin thingy, you and, and it just stops randomly at some point, but you have enough RAM, like 4 gigabytes it uses roughly, um, then you can start it like that and then it should work. Uh, anyway, um, so after that you can set arguments for the seed finder jar, which is first of all the plugin. So I said we wanted to use the witch finder, um, 1.7.x is what it's called. Um, yeah, you can check the name easily in here. That's the name of the plugin. Yeah, so if you want to use the Doxy plugin, that's the name of that. You have to put it in the quotation marks in here then. Um, yeah, but we're using the quad right now. So after that, we put the mode. There's range, single for single seeds. Um, then of course the list and range list for the other two modes, but yeah, you don't really need them for the, this one. Um, anyway, so let's say we want to use range, start at this seed, um, whatever, just put some seed in there, um, and then we want to search, let's say, one billion seeds. Uh, you can use million, billion, and oops, trillion, uh, no, no quadrillion, unfortunately, but <laughs> you don't need that, really. That just takes long. I mean, look, look at that. It uh, doesn't work <laughs> too much. Let's see, one trillion. No, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> uh, what do we try now? One point seven point X. Too much. No, I'm doing something wrong. What? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, see that that's what happens if you mistype the name. <laughs> it's not called Quad Witch Finder 1.7, it's called Quad Witch Hut. Now it works, yay! <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm just gonna leave that in, whatever. Um, see, that I uh, couldn't, couldn't find the plugin, I was like, wait, what, did I mistype it? Yes, I did. So if you get that error, you know what's, what, what, what's wrong, you probably mistyped the name. Be sure to have that correct. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's just stop that. Uh, you can do that with Control C. Um, and now you're wondering how do I uh, change the, the range and stuff? Didn't show that yet. No, I didn't. But you can do that by creating a new text file called args.txt in which you can do these settings by just Typing in a radius, colon, and then the number of chunks. Let's say 32, that's one region. Um, for the witch finder, I think it doesn't matter if you... Let's say if I, if I say uh, 50, it will also just check 32 because uh, it checks in regions. Everything else doesn't make sense with widgets. Um, so yeah, 32, 64, uh, 96 and stuff. 128 is the default setting. Um, yeah, you can also just go way above that but that takes ages let's just do it um, and then you can uh, also set use large biome you can set that to true and it will use large biomes everything else you put in there will mean it won't 
Uh, or if you just leave it out, it will also not do that. Uh, because the default setting is false. Um, yeah, and then there's uh, maximum distance to best threshold. Not sure if I typed that correct. I will put all of that in the description as well. Uh, also for the other plugin, for the Doxy plugin, I will put um, all the uh, properties you can set and which values they are using in the description. There are also some which would use double. Uh, actually, let me check that quickly. <laughs> if that no, it's not a double. Um, yeah, so that's that's the distance uh, in between the widgets. Uh, that's default 128 because that's the distance you can be away for spawning. If if, if they are further away, then uh, they won't spawn anything if you are standing in the middle. Um, but you can set it lower. Uh, I'm not sure if that will give you anything at all. Um, yeah, so you don't really need to use this setting. Don't if you don't know what you're doing. Um, then there is also the number of structures threshold, which is what we want to do if we want to search for triple widgets. Um, j just on a side note, two and one won't give you all double and single widgets because uh, of the way the quad witch finder works, because it's basically still the quad witch finder, but if the other widgets don't generate, this will still give you a result. That's the thing. Like, oh, if if it finds a quad widget, a potential one, and does the biome check, and only one of the quad widgets, uh, widgets is actually there, then it will still give you that result. That's basically what it's doing. Um, so, if you want to search for wi normal widgets, that's probably not the best tool to do so, but who wants that anyway, right? Um, <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Uh, we want to search for three, and um, keep in mind, if you do that, you have to adjust the total spawning area threshold, um, which is per default, this number, 451, um, which is not a maximum it can have with four widgets, but it's close enough. Mm. I think it doesn't even matter anymore in 1.8, so... Mm. Uh, well... <laughs> But you have to adjust it, so um, yeah, just set it to like triple of that. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, if you're four, four hundred forty roughly, so roughly three and thirty, something like that, that definitely works. Um, and then you just save that and then start this thing again. Now it will use this, these settings and if we're lucky we find one, if not, not, but yeah, you know. Um, yeah, that that's basically how this works. So I think that's that's all there is to know really. Um, yeah, just just keep in mind for the other plugins there might be values like, if, if the in the description it says double, use that notation like 1.5, 2.5, whatever. Um, yeah, boolean, obviously, if it's true, use true, anything else will give you f false. Um, yeah. I think that's all you need to know. And yeah, that's that done. And have fun with experimenting with all the settings. See you next time.